In case you didn't notice, about 100 days ago, a new president was sworn into office. And since he said this during the election, What follows is my 100-day action plan to make America great again. It's a contract between Donald J. Trump and the American voter. Let's see how his first 100 days have held up by the numbers. First, let's look at how he became president with nearly 63 million popular votes, only 2.8 million fewer votes than Hillary Clinton's almost 66 million votes. However, thanks to that funny little thing called the Electoral College, he did get 306 electoral votes to win the presidency. And as for what he's been doing, he's actually stayed pretty busy. In his first 100 days, he signed 28 bills into laws, 28 executive orders, held nine news conferences, one of which he refused one handshake with Angela Merkel, who was also one of 16 foreign leaders he's met with. Also, he's visited 10 states, zero foreign countries, held 17 golf outings, and spent 25 days at his private resort, Mar-a-Lago, which is 25% of his total time in office. There's no time for vacation. We're not gonna be big, we're not gonna be big on vacation. <laughs> whoa, 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 how'd that get in here? Never mind that. Anyways, in his first three plus months as commander in chief, Trump has built zero walls, passed zero healthcare legislation, had his two travel bans blocked, released zero current tax returns, has 18 people on his team, including him, accused of having Russian ties, and has ordered the launch of 59 Tomahawk missiles. So yeah, Trump's first 100 days in the office by the numbers. Has he been successful? Well, it all kind of depends on your political views. But currently, only 39% of people think he's started to make America great again.